So, I've bought a lot of books in the last few years, and sometimes they just kind of collect. And I noticed just recently that I had acquired all three of Elizabeth Acevedo's books. Here they are. <laughs> the Poet X, With the Fire on High, and the Newest, Clap When You Land. I haven't read any of them. <laughs> You'd think. I've had The Poet X since it came out in 2018, but this came out in 2019. This just came out in May. What's wrong with me? Why do I have all three of these and I haven't read any of them yet? They all look beautiful. I have so much respect for Elizabeth Osvedo, just as a human, and I want to have more respect for her through her books. So I finally <laughs> am going to give myself the challenge to read all three of her books in one week. and. For those of you who don't know Elizabeth Acevedo's books, this might seem like a big challenge because they're three really big books. But The Poet X is written in verse, so in poetry, as is Clap When You Land, also in verse. With the Fire on High is just prose, uh, so it's the only, like, biggest book here because the whole page is filled with words, but the other two are written in verse, so in theory they might be a little quicker to read than three full-length prose novels. This is just a little starting introduction clip to say, hey, I'm giving myself this challenge to do this. Today is, today is Sunday, July 12th, and I hope to finish these by next Sunday. So I don't know yet if I'm going to like vlog the experience of me reading these three books, because I'm not very good at vlogging. Mm. <laughs> but I'm very excited to read these three books, and if I don't vlog, well then you're at least going to see a s small review, not like a full review video where like I go in depth. I don't think I'm going to do many of those, it's a lot of work. Uh, but I'll at least include some of my thoughts about all three of these books. I'm really excited. It's going to be a fun week with beautiful words for a fantastic author. I hope to make this, uh, I read an entire author's works in a week thing a series, but I only know one other author that I'm going to do this video for. Uh, so I'm doing Elizabeth Acevedo this week, and I'm doing another author in a couple weeks because the reading wash is after this week. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to see if there's other authors I could do that for. I don't know, because I have read a lot. Of I just hit 300 read books in my, uh, database. So, that's exciting. <laughs> Alright! This is going to be a fun week, and yeah, that's the end of this little clip. So, <laughs> it's been about two weeks, not one week, since the first part of this video. <laughs> so it took me longer than expected to read all three of Elizabeth Acevedo's books. I don't know why it took me so long, but like, I had just started going back to work, so that took up a lot of my time. And I also feel that uh, reading challenges <laughs> aren't for me, or at least might not be for me. <laughs> at least for a conclusion to this video, here are some thoughts about these books. And my full review uh, will be on Goodreads and linked in the description. <laughs> the Poet X is about a girl coping with her strict life at home through poetry. I really loved Siomara's character. I related to her love of writing, but not knowing what to do with your writing, and feeling the constant need to write. I really don't know how else to talk about this book without spoiling it, so go read it. It's beautiful. I, I, I can't say anything. It's beautiful. <laughs> 
With the Fire on High is about a love for cooking and a love for family coming together. I am terrified of having children. <laughs> if you know me in real life, that might be something I've told you, you know? Having kids scares me. And yet, I loved feeling the love that Imoni felt for her daughter, Emma. Fun fact, I was almost named Emma. Pamela is kind of close, but I wouldn't trade my name for her any other name. I love it. Reading this book will make you hungry, <laughs> so don't enter it hem empty-handed. And this book worked so well in prose and not in verse because you need those full sentences to fully understand the plot and Emoni's feelings. But you could definitely feel the poet writer. Every chapter felt like poetry, even if it was in prose. Elizabeth Acevedo has lovely metaphors and similes in her books and always has a fantastic word choice. Clap When You Land is about two sisters who share a father and didn't know the other existed until their father dies in a plane crash. I know, that just rips your heart out, doesn't it? I teared up at plenty of wonderful and sad moments during this book. I felt hard for Camino and Yahara. I love Elizabeth Acevedo's beautiful poetry. The words felt like they were flying off the page, painting a beautiful picture in my mind. I can only sympathize with their loss, and I can only hope time and their relationship together helps them heal. So yeah, I didn't read these three books in a week like I wanted, or as planned. I still had fun. These are absolutely beautiful books. <laughs> I really enjoyed all three of them, and now I can officially say I've read all of Elizabeth Acevedo's work. If you want a hint to the other author I want to do this kind of video for, here are three hints. One, this author has two books. One is green, and one is reddish orange. Two, one of them came out this July. Three, they're both young adult. All right, so that does it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment below one author that you've read all of their books from. Whether you read all their books because uh, it's a series or you just read all their books because you love their writing. Uh, an author that I've read all from that's not a series is Adam Silvera. Just off the top of my head, I've read them all. They all made me cry because it's Adam Silvera. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. I promise I'm trying to think of an outro for a future video. Not this one. Alright. Bye! Thank you.